In the theme of this interview, I'm like the Sean Bean of Asian American actors. I die in almost everything. Thor was awesome. Uh, Kenneth Branagh was directing us, so that was my first big Marvel movie, and uh, got murdered by an ice monster. Independence Day 2, people keep saying Independence Day, I'm all the time to be like, 2, and I actually knew all the stunt people on the crew, and they, they actually thought that I was the double, so they were like, oh, cool, Steve, so who's the actor that you're playing? And, I, and for the first time in my career, I was able to be like, it is me, oh, thank you. NCIS was dope, and it was the same episode that uh, Michelle Obama was in, and we were literally outside of the White House, and then at the end of the scene, I was in full military whites, looking great, right? And walking down, and then people were like, like saluting me, and they're like, oh, thank you for your service, and I was like, oh, you're welcome, you're, I thought it was a pretty good scene too, thanks, and then all of a sudden I realized, oh, this is stolen valor. So I had to like take off my, uh, my uniform before I went back to the hotel, it was nuts. Four hours in a car on a set with George Clooney. You don't want to be annoying. <laughs> so I just shut down, actually. I don't know if you thought that I was a weirdo, but I was just like, you know, he's super chill, super charming, nice guy, talking about his, you know, family and his life. And he's like, yeah, so, you know, where are you from? And I'd be like, I'm from California. Don't say anything stupid. Don't say anything stupid. <laughs> so I was the Delta Force driver for Josh Brolin. I asked Denny Villeneuve, the awesome director, I was like, uh, you want me to get out? And he's like, yes. I said, okay, this is on you, Denny Villeneuve. I'm the only Asian Delta Force guy. I was like, I'm gonna get my face on camera. So we park, I get out, I see the camera, and I turn to it, so when you watch the car, you can see me do this. I turn, and I literally wave like this, like a hi, mom, so that they could see me, and I run as fast as I can out of the frame. And they kept it. Rogue One was awesome. Went to England and I doubled uh, Jiang Wen, who was wearing the big red outfit with Donnie, but I was also like a stormtrooper. The, the death that they showed on camp, uh, whatever, on the final product is like a wave of fire comes at him. His original death, they had me, they had, there was supposed to be like a sticky bomb that attaches to his backpack, and then he rushes towards the uh, death troopers, and then they had this platform where I'm supposed to stand on it and all around this platform in a circle they had uh, explosives run to my spot and if I miss it then the flaming wall goes in my face. I'm supposed to land on this target, basically this little circle that's you know no bigger than shoulder width and uh, I'm still here today. Keanu Reeves is the nicest dude and we're rehearsing our scene of the knife fight in the hallway, the, one of the first fights in the movie. And of course I'm an actor so I want to get a little more screen time. Uh, so in order to elongate the screen time, I decide, I have the brilliant idea that I'm going to spit in his face while I'm on the ground. I'm going to go like that. So during rehearsals, I was doing it all the time. Like I crawl, 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 and before he throws the last knife in my head, I go And then finally he realized that that's what I was doing. So they yell cut, and then he just turns around and he says, Hey man, did you just spit at me? And I'm on the ground and I'm like, oh, it's what do I say, what do I say? I guess I guess you gotta tell the truth. Yes? Cool, keep doing it. And he walks away and I'm like, Keanu Reeves, everybody! Spider-Man, that was also life-changing. Spider-Man the video game, I have to also say that. <laughs> you were in Spider-Man the movie? No, 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 the video game. Which is cooler, it was life-changing. But in the audition, I didn't know it was for Spider-Man. They just said that the character had to be, you know, evil, but also cool. I rehearsed like crazy. That was my jam for a whole week. Nailed the audition. I was the first to go in. At the end of it, I was so excited and so stoked that I nailed it that I threw this prop knife that we had, threw it on the ground. I jumped up in the air and I yelled, I defy you to find somebody better. And then I stopped and I realized where I was. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought that they were definitely going to be like, oh, thanks, bye. But I got the job. Yeah. Don't give up. <laughs> or give up. Give me all the job. I'm Stephen O. Young, and these have been some of my Hollywood experiences. <laughs>